Our next inductee is an Oregon native who not only made his mark in track and field, but also stamped his signature throughout the world. The line from Oregon prep greatness to the University of Oregon to the halls of Nike is a familiar one. Bill Bowerman drew it. Others, like Tinker Hatfield, would follow. As a designer and later a manager, Hatfield became a key figure in Nike's worldwide growth. Tinker Hatfield was born in Hillsboro, but he grew up in the Willamette Valley, rewriting the record books at Central Lynn High School in Halsey. All-State in football, Sunkiss All-America, Oregon's top high school athlete of 1970. A year later, Hatfield was the first Oregon prep to win four individual events at the state track and field championships. Hatfield settled on pole vaulting as his specialty at the University of Oregon, competing for then coach Bill Bowerman. Tinker held the school record during his collegiate career and placed sixth in the 1976 Olympic trials. The end of one career gave birth to another. Tinker put his architecture degree from Oregon to work in Nike product design in the mid 80s. Hatfield was part of the design team for the original cross training shoe. He then advanced in management, shepherding revolutionary product lines like Air Jordan, ACG, and Andre Agassi footwear and apparel. It is the management of design and the creative process that perhaps will be Hatfield's most lasting legacy. But Tinker is still hands-on. The University of Oregon's innovative uniform redesign, the modern O logo itself, the new scoreboard at Hayward Field, all are his projects a passion. An Oregon original, still on the cutting edge, Tinker Hatfield. Hey, Johns. Good to see you. Have a seat there, sir. Gosh, I don't know where to begin. Uh, let me start with uh, the track shoe and uh, Michael Jordan. All right. Tell us a little bit about that, uh, well, you how do, that you, all got you put You do together. know he was a basketball player, right? Yeah, oh, boy, okay. do I ever. That's good. Yeah. I'm sure Jerome knows about Michael Jerome Jordan. Jerome knows all about <laughs> Michael Jordan. <laughs> well, I've had, a, I've had the great fortune to work with Michael for, uh, for really his entire career uh, as, a, as a player. And as a matter of fact, I um, had a meeting with him today out at Nike. So oh, okay. the, the uh, collaboration continues. It's been great. Your association with Bill Bowerman. Tell the folks that this is going to last forever and ever. Give us that story. <laughs> well, um, another sort of stroke of good luck on my part. I, uh, I committed to go to the University of Oregon in track, and I, I went to architecture school. And um, Bill Barman was one of the main reasons, but also the school, uh, the uh, School of Architecture. I uh, became one of Bill Barman's favorite test pilots for all of his new shoe designs back in the early 1970s. And um, because I could draw, I was in the architecture school, I could draw, um, I actually, instead of just giving him feedback, I would actually give him little sketches and little ideas. Yeah. And so he took a liking to that. And so I became one of his favorites uh, for that, you know, in that process. And along the way, he coached me a little bit, had some luck, uh, some good luck in, in, uh, in track and field. And uh, so I had a nice, wonderful relationship with, uh, with Bill Bowerman. But later on in life, of course, uh, your signature is on so many things with, with Nike. Uh, how did that all get started, uh, if you will? Well, you know, Nike is, a, is, a, is, a, is an amazing place, and it's, um, it's uh, this company that seems to attract athletes, uh, athletes that have other skills. And um, our uh, CEO is right down here today, Mark Parker, if you want to wave your hand there, yeah, Mark. Mark. Yeah. And, um, 
The reason I bring up Mark is that he's a good example of uh, being a college athlete and being drawn to Nike because of sports and because of the opportunity to work in sports uh, after your competitive career is over. And I think that was the case for me. I, um, I, I came to Nike as the corporate architect and uh, uh, kind of the rest is history. I kind of, got into, kind, of, kind of got into footwear design because of the previous relationship with Bill Barman and um, the rest is kind of history there. The one signature that you have stamped on any one product or whatever you did over, the, over those years, which one stands out the best to you? Well, um, I'm, I'm probably going to just say uh, that the series of Air Jordan shoes were, were, were uh, yeah. uh, really spectacular to me <clears throat> as, a, as an experience. And uh, one shoe in particular, the Air Jordan 11. Yep. It's my favorite shoe of all time, I think. Um, and for any of you who might be sneaker collectors, uh, it's, uh, it's, it tends to be pretty high on the sneaker collector list. Did Michael have anything to do with that? Did, he, did you converse with Michael or did you just do it? Oh, he, no, he likes to make claims about being some sort of creative guy, but uh, no, it was all me. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he sees this. This will be funny. Yeah. Well, Tinker, you've done it all. And all right. Now it's time. Okay. And here. Please stand if you can, sir. Sure. All right. I present this to you, Tinker Hatfield. You've been a joy. You've put your stamp on many, many things, and you are now officially a member of the Oregon Sports Hall of Fame. Great. Tinker Hatfield. Thank you. Thank you very much.